Hey guys, it's Mary from Very Very Mary. How you doing? I don't see the time out there. It is. <laughs> it's so like bright and weird in here. Just got out of church. The second time I've been in nine months. I'm super excited. Like I was going to Bible study on Wednesday at this new church, but I hadn't been actually been to a church service. And we went like two Sundays ago to my um, city church for a back to school giveaway. But since the giveaway wasn't doing church service, we just left and then. Came back for the giveaway at like 3 o'clock. So I didn't get actually a, um, what do you call it? Participate in actual service. Like they had like a like a kind of mini service sort of thing. Sort of, not really. Doing the giveaway. But um, I came to this new church last Sunday. My kids took notes. It was awesome. And then I came today. And my baby, baby, my baby people are not with me. I can't get my words right. But anyway, it was so nice. And guess what? Oh my God. First of all, first of all. When I came in, he was like, oh, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to talk about this, talk about that. And then we're doing the Lord's Supper. I said, stop it. I have not taken communion in like eight years. Like, no lie. Like, eight years. Like, because at my old church, when you do children's church in Sunday school, when you do children's church, they don't bring you communion. Like, you just miss out. So, I always missed out. So, I got to do communion today. And they gave me real bread. And at those little wafer things they invented, you know, those little dehydrated, wafer thingy things say so they have these new things but they have these little plastic sealed cups right and on top of the seal is a sealed little wafer thing to make it all compact and i don't know easier or something but old time they used to give you a little glass cup or plastic cup with like grape juice in it and actual bread and that's what they did it was so cool and they had this little area at the bottom of the um chairs where you put like the bible where you put the little cup and it holds it's a little cup holder it's so cute but a little mini cup anyway i went to church today it was amazing of course um and i went last sunday and it was great and this is started great great new things plus i got to take communion shut up stop playing um this lady named Billy Brim or something i think her name was like Billy Brim i know it was Billy that was on um believers voice of voice of victory 16 years ago, I think it was, was saying that she does the Lord's Prayer every day at her house, every morning. And I said I wanted to do that, and I have not never done it. So I need to do that because I need to be more connected to God because y'all know I love him so much, but I fail him all the time. And I be depressed and sad and pitiful, but all I need is him not to be like that. So, yes. So hallelujah, praise God. I mean, like, for real, not like people always want to come on YouTube and say, I found God just to have some kind of clickbait thing. And then the rest of the content is like totally heathenous, you know, like for sure, y'all. And, and they thought I was a Muslim because people always think I'm a Muslim and they were looking at me all crazy. And then he was like, um, we're about to partake in the Lord's Supper. And uh, if you're from some other faith or something, and you partake in it and you're going to damn yourself to hell. I thought that was really rude. And this guy left out. He looked like he was Indian. I don't know exactly what he was, but he looked Indian, but he might have been some other you know, ethnicity that just appeared to be Indian. I don't know because he left out so quick. He had this cute little boy with him, about preschool age or whatever. And after he said that the guy, you know, just kind of tucked out, he smiled and everything, and you know, said bye to the person behind him. I thought it was really sad because I felt like he drew that dro drove that guy away. Like even if he wasn't gonna partake in it, he could have like observed it. Observing it is one step to accepting it, and you know partaking right maybe he wanted to give us life to jesus you know so i thought that was kind of ugh. you know i can't remember we did lord's supper we did it before the invitation i think it was after the invitation but still why would he want to come back or even uh accept the invitation next time it was kind of rudely the pastor said you know well if you partake in the lord's supper and you ain't accepted jesus and you're damned to hell you gonna do it to yourself Thought that was rude. But anyway, I went to church. I'm super excited. Um, I'm going to do a video on what I learned today and what I learned last Sunday, which I super needed what I learned last Sunday and this Sunday. But last Sunday was right on time. Um, yeah, so I kind of have connectivity in this general area. So I think I'm going to go into the other church parking lot and upload this video. Yeah. So if you haven't been to church, ask God to lead you to the right church. Um, or do like I do. I about look up um like Priscilla Shire's um teachings on YouTube or I go to like Becca Shea's scripture snacks and I roll from there. But hopefully you find a body of Christ and fellow believers to fellowship with, because that is to me the ultimate.
Yeah, to me, that is the best. It's best, best, best. My mama just called me. Um, yeah. All right. <laughs> Love y'all. Be safe. Be blessed. Be blessed.